Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Detroit coming to you for the bunker here in Rochelle Park, New Jersey with another episode of Axis and Allies, The Garrison, okay? So it's been quite some time now since I last um, recorded a video for you guys to watch. Uh, so this video itself is just going to be more of a channel update as far as letting you guys know what it is that I've been up to. Okay, this last September, I actually teamed up with my good friend Warpig. Uh, we decided uh, as a team to participate at the third annual BBR, okay? This time, the BBR was actually held in Atlanta, Georgia, okay? Or at least in the general vicinity of Atlanta, Georgia, at Sireblood's new bunker that he recently uh, built, as we know, or as at least many of you already know, uh, Sireblood has officially moved from uh, California to Georgia, okay? Where he now has built his new bunker, and it's absolutely fantastic, Warpig and I were able to team uh, team up. We participated in the in the event, and we actually did pretty well. We did the, uh, uh, I think, good as a matter of fact. We came in fourth place. We made it to the medal rounds where we succumbed to uh, Corporal Twenty Four and his uh, teammate, uh, the Chaplain. Okay, it was a great, great, fantastic, uh, a great time that we had, and it was a fantastic experience. Okay, okay, so. Uh, in addition to that, as you guys can see on my game table here, I've uh, I, I for the last couple of years I've been using the out of box map to play not only regular uh, OOB games but also I've been using the out of box map to actually play BBR games and of course that makes playing BBR games a little bit more difficult. So I went ahead and had this uh, map professionally printed. Uh, which is the latest version of uh, the BBR map. This map is four feet wide, eight feet long, cost me $53, and it's printed on scrim vinyl banner uh, a material, which is, works extremely well for gaming. Okay, and of course, this game, this game map, since it is the latest uh, version of the BBR map, also it has incorporated Lieutenant Dan's historical footnotes, which he, of course... Lieutenant Dan spent an untold number of hours researching his uh, 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 historical uh, facts or footnotes of uh, major naval battles that took place during the Second World War. And of course, not only where um, uh, it's footnoted, but where he annotates where major ships were sunk throughout the war and where major battles were actually fought okay so that's something that of course i've been wanting to do and that was to get this map so that i can play bbr games with much more ease okay in addition and this is now the real reason why i'm making this video today is because for some time now i've been flirting with the idea of incorporating drawers to my uh game table here and of course you know and if you guys have watched many of my videos in the past you guys well know that uh, running the length of the table on both sides, I had individual wooden organizers, okay, or that I would use in order to uh, help with storage, okay. So what I've gone ahead now, though, is I've been researching and I've uh, been able to incorporate drawers to this game table. There's a total of eight drawers that I've been able to incorporate, four on each side. I've been working on this for a couple of months now. It's been a slow process because as you guys well know, at least many of you know, I'm not a carpenter, I'm not into woodworking, and I'm not a cabinet maker either, uh, unlike our good friend Jason, uh, Sire Blood. So what I did is that I, I mean, they're not perfect, but you know what? They work, okay? So, and they don't look too bad either. So I've been uh, basically working on this recently, and I built and incorporated one drawer for each major power that, uh, that, that is involved in the game. So here we are. This is the U.S. drawer. Okay. I've also incorporated these uh, interior dividers that I that augment and increase storage capacity for each drawer. Okay. So here we are. See, they, 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 you can move them. They do move. And they make storage much easier overall. Okay. This is the Soviet Union. Okay. I keep my cards up here. My chips, roundels, dice. And of course, uh, the industrial complexes. Okay, so there you go. All right, let me see 
This one here is Germany. Germany's Navy, Air Force, the Luftwaffe, and of course, ground units. Okay, and the idea behind all of this is that it just frees up overall the the sides of the game table uh, for you to be able just to lean on them. I, I tend to lean on the table. Just keep in mind, this is an oversized table. So sometimes you want to lean and be able to reach out across the game table. So it just makes the whole gaming experience so much better, at least for me anyway. Uh, this is the UK's. I believe, not, I don't believe, I know for a fact that recently Buran, Buran, or Buran also incorporated slides or drawers to the sides of his table. And you know what? They look, looks pretty nice. I was very impressed with the work that he did. I believe he recently made a video showcasing uh, his uh, remodeled uh, game table. All right, so here we are. Of course, it, Italy's uh, drawer is not yet complete. I have yet to incorporate the interior dividers. It's the one that I haven't yet, yet completed, so I'm still working on that. This is the French drawer, the Dutch drawer, the Anzacs, and the Japanese drawer. Okay. I have my daughter here visiting me, saying hello. Are you hungry? I'm not hungry yet, Mommy, but shortly I will be. Okay, see you later. All right, so here we are. So, I am pleased with the end result. As I said before, it could be better, but it's not bad at all. Not bad. It works. It definitely works. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as again, this is more of a, a, a channel update, if anything. I hope you guys uh, get something out of it. And uh, until next time. All right, guys. See you later. Detroit out.